Welcome to session three, Powtoons. What is Powtoons? Well, Powtoons is a super fun website that allows you to make animated presentations and videos. There's pre-created object libraries that you can manipulate in the video to create your animations. You can also import images that you have already saved or that you find on the web or images, pictures that you have taken. There is a library of music that is provided which is awesome and you, the user, creates the voiceovers and the narrations. The pros of Powtoons are it's very, very easy to use. The interface is easy, the menu is simple, it is not a complicated program. Their libraries of characters and cartoons are really, really quite diverse. You have many, many, many different options and templates to choose from. It's very visually appealing and the animations and the transitions will keep the viewer engaged. It's like watching a cartoon in your classroom which you know kids love cartoons. You also get a presentation link to your online project, so it's very easy to share. Some of the cons of ProTunes are if you have an older computer, it can run very slowly. There's a lot of processes going on, and sometimes when the software is easier for us, it's actual more difficult and more going on in the background that the computer is doing for us. So if it is running slow and your computer is old, know that's normal and have some patience. You can sign up for a free version, which is great. But if you're really into Powtoons, you'll see the free version limits the length of your Powtoons and the free version also limits your choice of your characters and music and the different features in the library. So if you're really into Powtoons, you might want to consider the paid version. To give you an idea of what Powtoons looks like, let's look at a couple examples. This link to this website is available in the resources document for session three, so you'll be able to access it and examine more. We're going to take a look at a teacher created one for math. I'm just showing you part of the example because you will have time to peruse the rest. But as you can see, you were able to add music, there was animations, and all those things are in the Powtoons library. Three other websites that I want you to look at, they are all in the Powtoons family. These three links, like I said, will also be on your links document, links for session three in the folder for the Digital Storytelling and Presentation Session 3 group. So you will be able to access these for your assignment from that group. The first link is the Powtoon sign up, but I want you to take note of something. There is regular Powtoons and Powtoons for EDU. Make sure that you're on the link that says for EDU and you can look up here in the web address it says EDU home. You click on try it for free to get yourself signed up. If you have a Facebook account that you want to sign up with a Google account or a LinkedIn account 
you can connect with one of these three accounts. Now, if you're using this for school, I don't necessarily know if I wanted to connect it to my personal Facebook. It's up to you. It, you know if you want to use an, a connected account. If you don't, just sign up, name, email address, and make sure you say you want to use your Powtoons for education and you're a teacher. Sign you up. So make sure you're in the 4EDU, not in the not for edu and you can even see up here it says sign up edu the next link is powtoons tutorials i didn't create my own because powtoons really does a great job of their own tutorials so a couple things to look for over here here are some tips basic of using powtoons it talks about writing a script how to record your voiceover and how to add visuals also, in the main guide, you definitely want to take a look at the overview, how to add animations, using the library. As you get more advanced, you can learn about using the timeline. And you, of course, want to look at the side panel and eventually the menu panel if you want to spice things up. But you notice these are all really short videos they break everything down into little chunks and you can watch them over and over and over again. The last link is about pricing. So if you decide you want to pay for it because maybe you're really into Powtoons and the video length isn't long enough and you want access to more characters in the libraries, there's different education plans. So make sure you're on the education plan page. It's a premium account. There is also a premium account for, a, for regular accounts, but make sure. And you can decide what you'd like to do. If you're just using it as a teacher, $2 a month as a teacher, here are all the different things that you get access to. Different tunes, up to 15 minutes, with the watermark, privacy, there's student plans if a student wants it individually. And then there's a teacher and 60 students that's $8 a month billed annually. So there are some options and they are not crazy expensive. And here is your assignment for session three. Watch the video tutorials on the Powtoon site to learn how to create an animated movie with Powtoons. Pick a topic to create your movie on. It could be something you would help create to help your students understand a new concept. It could be about anything. It does not necessarily have to be for education if you don't want it to make it for education. And create a movie. Write a paragraph explaining how you would use animations in your classroom. So this is a two-parter. You have a movie and a reflection, both to be uploaded to Edmodo. The reflection can be uploaded to Edmodo, much like we said before, Word document, Google Doc, share it, or just type it in. 